Hi guys and welcome to a new Let's Play series. Yes, I've done Lego Movie 2 video game and now I'm moving on to something else. I have been in desperate need of a Marvel fix since Endgame came out. Oh my god, how good was that film? Oh, and the ending. Uh, but no spoilers in case, just in case anyone hasn't seen it uh, or been hiding under a rock or isn't on social media. Um, so, because I need a Marvel fix um, and obviously Avengers related stuff I'm going for Lego Marvel's Avengers um, I did play this a while back as part of a retrospective review um, and now we're gonna go for the full 100% as part of this let's play so I'm jumping straight in with a new game now I should warn you that while I will put the cutscenes in they will be muted just purely because the music is copyrighted um, that said they're still awesome. I mean, I love this one, uh, Beginning of Age of Ultron. Um, it's a fantastic scene in the movie, and I feel it's probably one of the more underrated movies. Um, but yeah, this is an awesome scene, um, and it's recreated brilliantly in Lego form. Look at it, it's so cool! Uh, and I do love the fact that I've got all of these minifigures. Hey, Hulk! Yeah! I've also got that car and that bike. Awesome scene. Right. I think we're going to start the level now. Let's do this. This is Maria Hill to all Avengers. Advance to the fortress. We've confirmed Strucker is. Okay, Maria. Um, yeah, so I have played this um, not too long ago. Um, it doesn't mean I'm going to be brilliant at it, but I do. Re I did really enjoy this game. Um, while Lego Marvel Super Heroes 1 and 2 are fantastic games in their own right, um, this was partly the game that I really wanted to see Lego make because uh, their movie adaptations tend to be absolutely fantastic um, for the most part. I mean, just look at Star Wars. Um, Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit and all stuff like that, uh, Jurassic World, I love that game. Um, so yeah, having a Marvel one based on the first two Avengers films was brilliant when this came out, I was so looking forward to playing this. Um, really, really, really want them to do a sequel with Infinity War and Endgame, you never know, it might be announced at E3, which is this week I believe. Um, so we can hope, we can pray. Um, but for now, let's enjoy the first two Avengers movies. Um, the only weird thing about this game is the order in which the levels come up because it does kind of bounce backwards and forwards and integrate some of the other movies into it as well. Uh, right. Uh, which is why we're starting with Age of Ultron. Which, in a crazy world, makes perfect sense. Right. It was quite interesting actually with this game as well because it did introduce some weird new functionality like this. Um, but there's a lot of variation on abilities between the the main cast of characters. So, right, let's get Hawkeye over there. This is going to get my Marvel fix. I'm already enjoying this. I'm already excited, and I've been playing it for what two minutes, if that. Right, big gun. I oh, know. Uh, come on, Black Widow. Shoot! <laughs> oh, man. Now, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed Lego Movie 2 video game, but because it was based on Lego Worlds, it was very, very different from uh, most kind of mainstream Lego games. So I, I have been in desperate need of a proper Lego game again. I do love this game. I love all the Marvel games. Mind you, I love all the DC, Lego DC games. Oh, I need to play Lego Batman 3 again at some point. Yes, right, that's going on my list for Let's Plays moving forward. Once I've got my Marvel fix covered. Right, this is one of the interesting functionality, the abyss functionality that they did that in, where you could do basically a, like a co-op pad and then they work together like so right that's Hawkeye and Black Widow who's next yeah I think we lost gentlemen a surprise alright can you want to deal with that bunker Hulk thank you <laughs> 
the other thing I really love about this game um, compared to Lego Marvel Super Heroes 1 and 2 is the fact that they do actually use the voices from the movies with the exception of a couple um, I think Pepper Potts is one of the ones that they didn't use they didn't use Gwyneth Paltrow oh. don't know why that is you'd think they would you know they've got the sound bites from the movie maybe she didn't let them you're not gonna take out Hulk he's too awesome no, I pr no, I pressed it by accident. I know what I'm doing. He says. <laughs> right. If I remember rightly as well, uh, this. This is a great game for changing Iron Man suits uh, because essentially uh, when you do it brings you up with a Tony Stark HUD so when, like, when he's in the suit where you see in the movie and you've got all the suits around him. If I remember right, if it is this game, I hope it's this game. Mind you, I did find it bizarre, um, not in a bad way, but I did find it bizarre that uh, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 1 used the movie designs, whereas LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 went for a more comic book design for Iron Man. Either way, he's awesome, but, yeah. Especially when you had, like, Thor was the Ragnarok Thor in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. Ooh, I might be able to get the stuff counter up as well. I'm not... I'm not aiming for any mini kits or character tokens or the uh, stud counter, but I will get it if I can. I'll do mini kit guides afterwards, don't you worry about that. Kaboom! Right. Let's get some more stud. Right, come on. Yep. Hulk angry! <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Hulk, your fat head was in the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's first level, I'm loving this already. Boom! Literally, boom. Ah! More! Yep, you protect the fortress. Right, is that the... I think that's the, bit of the last bit of the Iron Man Hulk combo. What we got next? Ah, <laughs> love it. <laughs> Language. Awesome. Oh, no. Okay, that I forgot about. That's awesome. All right. Get down here. I'm the God of Thunder. Uses mostly lightning. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna hit that stun counter. Kaboom! Ah, oh, Thor, you're awesome. <laughs> I can't promise my enthusiasm is gonna be like this all over in this Let's Play, but at the moment, ah, oh, just it's been such a great year for Marvel. The End Game. Wow, what a movie! Oh, <laughs> well, the spoiler ban's been lifted, but I don't know. Oh. I want to talk about it, but I don't know. I don't want to ruin it for anyone. I'll be worried. Mind you, it's been two months now. If you haven't seen Endgame by now, you're not. You know, you're either not a Marvel fan, or you know, you're not that bothered. Awesome. I got True Avenger. Yeah. So you know, Endgame spoilers ahead. Oh no! No! <laughs> now the bit in Endgame right at the end um, these two together these two characters together Thor and Cap in Endgame the the most awesome tag team I must say oh, and when oh, when Captain America picks up the hammer oh my god yeah I've been waiting 11 years for that as a lot of fans have been. Right. Oh, let me in. Let me in. I want to run the drill. Someone getting it. There we go. 
yeah, these two together, two, definitely my two favourite characters in that movie. Right. I think my one of the only big disappointment with Endgame. Okay, Maria. Uh, yeah, my one of the only kind of annoyance with Endgame is the fact that obviously Captain Marvel came out just before, and there was the whole hype about hey, Captain Marvel's joining the MCU, and they barely used her. And when she did eventually come into it at the end, it was supposed to be like a big dramatic moment, like it was in uh, Infinity War when Thor turned up, and it just. To me, it didn't have the same impact in any way, shape, or form. I mean, Thor rising with Rocket and Groot in Infinity War was just a "Oh my God, this is awesome" moment, and Captain Marvel arriving in Endgame was just a bit, eh. <laughs> Let me know what you think of that. Let me know what you think of Endgame. As you can tell, I loved it. I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die here. No. No! No! Oh, 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 oh. Right, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, I need. Ah, I need cap. Go, go, go! No! Ah, oh, man! How are you supposed to do this without dying? Boom! Awesome. Awesome. Just awesome. I do like that um, mechanic. Oh, hello. Right, there's probably music again, so this will be muted. But don't worry, the Iron Legion are coming in. He really isn't going to worry about civilian casualties. I will try and put the subtitles on for future videos so apologies if I forget <laughs> we're here to help ah oh, man they're throwing egg at him it's the Avengers <laughs> we will not yield no surrender I'm going to surrender seriously Age of Ultron is drastically underrated um, if you know, people say it's probably the worst Avengers film. I don't know. I've had a lot of people say it's not that great, um, but it's got some of the best bits in it, especially the um, Stanley cameo is brilliant. Excelsior! And he's very drunk. Ah! Oh. I do prefer the X Men Quicksilver though. Um, that's one thing I would say. It's a shame they used Quicksilver in this because I would like to have seen uh, Quicksilver recast and brought in later now that obviously Disney own X-Men again. But, uh... <laughs> right, come on Iron Man. Take down that shield. we got things to do. There we go. The drawbridge is down. Right. We're detecting a large number of airborne threats above the fortress. We'll need to get rid of them so Captain Rogers can find his way inside. I'll just call him Captain America. Captain Rogers. I will call him Steve or Captain America. Don't go with Captain Rogers. Right. There's too many of them. Oh my god. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Ah! Ah! It never not gets fun. <laughs> All right. I know there are mini kits here. I'm trying to avoid them because I will do mini kit guides afterwards, um, just for consistency. But All right. Kaboom! Right, so we've got three big guns to take out. Oh, man! Three big guns to take out. And down with Hydra! 
Well, actually, in Endgame, that was a cool scene. Um, when they go back to 2012, um, the first Avengers movie, when he gets in the lift and he just goes, Hell Hydra! <laughs> nice nod to the comics. Don't kill me, don't kill me! I'm just an innocent super soldier. <laughs> I can hear Stan, I know exactly where he is, but I'm not saving him. Ah. Oh, I love his... I love the moves that he's got. Right, let's do this. Okay, that's not going to hit the gun. Oh, okay, we're just clearing the stairs because, you know, why not aim it at the big gun? It's alright. I'm going to die again, I'm going to die again. I'm going to die again. Ah! There we go. <laughs> Damn you, Hydra! Boom! Come here, you. Come here! Ah, oh, there's more of them. How many people are in this castle? Ha <laughs> ha! He got burnt. I'm not gonna die again! But clearly I'm immortal! Oh. Shoo! <laughs> right. Right. I've had enough of you. Boom! Right, go, go, go! Oh, they, 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 they just don't stop. I'm leaving them. I've got guns to destroy. Uh, right. What do I need to do? Right. Go away. Right. How do I destroy this thing? Uh, is there something got to switch on over here? I can't remember. Uh, okay. Do I go over this way? Actually, I'm pretty sure that's for the other gun. I know. I know Stan Lee's behind that fire over there. No, there must be. There's something I've done wrong. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Boom! And there's a hole. Down the hole we go. I'll come back and build the ladder in a minute. I don't want them escaping. There we go. Right, gun number two. Boom! There we go. Hello! Sorry. Womp womp. Right. Let's go and do the third gun and then we are done with this level, I think. Boom! Right, go, 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 before they spawn again. How many Hydra agents does it take to take out Captain America? A lot. Oh no! <laughs> but one bit of fire. <laughs> right, last gun. Shush, Stan, I'll save you later, I promise. Boom, three out of three. And there we go. And... Kaboom! Right, bye! There we go, we're done. So, he's going into sentry mode. <laughs> I love the face in his pants. Oh. Right. I can't remember if this cutscene shows. <laughs> Who could that be <laughs> behind the plot? It must show his vision. I wonder if they were thinking about Endgame when they did this. So, in the film, it does show them all basically battened and beaten in a very similar kind of environment to what we see at the end of Endgame. 
Yeah, that looks a bit end gamey. Well, you say that. Different Thor, different Hulk, different Captain America, and Black Widow. He did. Right. Yeah, let's just let him take it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Boom. And there we go, folks. So there is the first level of Lego Marvel's Avengers. I have enjoyed every minute, if you didn't realise. So struck off the list. There we go. I will be continuing this series. I will be playing through this entire game as well as all DLC because I managed to pick up the season pass very cheap recently. So that's levels I've not played through before. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this game. Um, might have been a while since you played it. Don't worry. Uh, also, let me know what you think of M game. Um, try and keep the uh, spoilers reasonable because I, as I said I hope everyone's seen it but you never know um, and please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video I'll be back very soon with another video but for, for now thanks for watching, bye bye